Yeah, yeah. It's, it really is just consistency, hey. I think about making 40 videos, I think, until you even can get into the algorithm. Mm. That, something, something like that. Yeah, well, this is where I'm like, I'm probably my own worst enemy because I'm sort of semi-fighting the algorithm system because I know, like, I've watched enough stuff about, I guess, digital marketing and, and the algorithm and things like that to sort of know I should probably like if I want to get more cut through I should just focus on one thing and one thing only and just be able to do, 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 like niche niche you know but my interests are really kind of wide and mm. varied you know I've tried to as I've done like what I'm doing at the moment with having like a daily show Monday to Friday I've tried to pick subject matters that are similar like and they all tight they hinge through ultimately it flicks for good at the moment I'm using the brand you know, on the web, on um, on here and on YouTube and other places like that. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Mm. It's uh, yeah, it is interesting. Like I, I watch um, you know, like Peter McKinnon and um, Matty Hopa and. Uh, potato jet you just watch potato jet yeah yeah i watched yeah, yeah. Um, um he's a funny guy I, I think he's entertaining so I, you know i yeah. like watching just yeah he, he he can make a video about just about anything i'll probably watch it just because he's he's funny <laughs> yeah yeah and, and that's where it's going like having that kind of that audience is really easier when you do have a, a video a film that you want to show you've got like a hundred thousand people there that are going to watch it or I don't know that attention is the commodity, you know, like, That's it. and then you can pitch, you can pitch easier. You can say, Oh, look, this is my audience here. I'm already doing it. Like, yeah, it, it is a smart move. It's not just like a influencer kind of thing. It's more, mm. it's a very strategic business model, I yep. think. Yeah. And there's a few other creators that are smaller who are, they're not really loud and they're not really like outgoing. They just kind of more calm. I'm like, Oh, that's, you can still do it without having that kind of that Peter McKinnon personality, which he obviously loves chatting and being on camera. So that kind yeah. of was always a thing. I was like, oh, I don't always like talking. It's not always yeah. natural, but it is. Yeah, um, yeah. There's people that are doing it. It's just about being genuine. I think that's the people. That's it. People see that now, and they're like, oh, that's that's real, rather than those fake like closing down sale advertisements, <laughs> carpets, <laughs> carpets. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Yeah. Like that kind of marketing is obviously, yeah, it's gone. Closing, no, they just like closing. Closing down sale, like 10 years. years. Closing, yeah. which is like, can you guys close? Like, would you just hurry up and actually close? I don't know how they get away with it. Yeah. yeah. It's just, <laughs> Must yeah, be working. <laughs> well, I don't know. I think they, I think maybe they did get pulled up. I thought maybe they did eventually get stopped and uh, they couldn't do any more of that. But yeah. Either that or they're just like, oh, I don't think people are liking this. I, I agree. Like, yeah. I think people, and I, I'm excited by it personally because to me, like, people being genuine and being down to earth and being, mm. like, who they are is really, that's that's kind of, like, if I have a barometer of, like, whether I'm going to connect with someone or not, like, that's really kind of, like, the, that's the meter. And, like, I don't care what they do. Like, and, you know, you could be a lawyer or mm. a tradie or whatever. Like, it was just if you're a down to earth person, then that's basically a tip in the box. And, and that's yeah. why it's good to see um more diversity of creators and like you're saying some people that don't have like really flamboyant crazy personalities still be able to get um traction so yeah still being able to inspire yeah 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 i saw a guy today actually i was because i was trying to figure out all this this <laughs> trying to figure out how can i get because uh, I, I i had at first um to get the camera working the eos webcam software is rubbish so that's unfortunate but it is in its beta stage but it's just not yeah. reliable like sometimes like you'll turn it like you go on and Streamyard detects that it's there and it's perfect and then other times it just comes up with a thing saying eos webcam utility software yeah. and I was thinking, camera overheating <laughs> I just was like, yeah, the new, the, the, I know that, well, I've got the older ESR, so. Yeah, um, no, nah, I, I figured you didn't have the new one. Yeah, but <laughs> yeah, uh, okay. it's it's a bit tricky, but yeah, I found some dude because I was like, oh, okay. And um, 
is this Indian guy. He was kind of funny because he was kind of like copying some of the the sort of Peter McKinnon esque type things, yeah, you know, in the way he was talking. Um, but he, I was looked at it and he had like thirty three thousand views, and I'm like, most of the stuff I've done so far has probably got like hundred views maximum. I'm like, what is he doing? <laughs> what is he doing? That's so good. Mm. Yeah, yeah. It's, it it really is just consistency. Hey, I think about making forty videos. I think until you even can get into the algorithm, mm. that, something something like that. Yeah, well, this is where I'm like, I'm probably my own worst enemy because I'm sort of semi fighting the algorithm system because I know, like, I've watched enough stuff about, I guess, digital marketing and and the algorithm and things like that to sort of know I should probably like if i want to get more cut through i should just focus on one thing and one thing only and just be able to do, 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 like niche niche you know but my interests are really kind of wide and varied you know i've tried to as i've done like what i'm doing at the moment with having like a daily show monday to friday i've tried to pick subject matters that are similar like and they all tight they hinge through ultimately it flicks for good at the moment i'm using the brand yeah, on the web, on um, on here and on YouTube and other places like that. But ultimately, I want to build a video streaming service called Flicks for Good, and uh, and have it set up as a social enterprise where half the money that gets created uh, or half the money that's profit goes to different causes that people nominate, as well as giving, yeah. providing a way that people can um, flick dollars to people uh, in need or causes in need easily you know without having to go through a whole process of signing up for stuff or getting yeah. harassed at night time by telemarketers or stopped in the street by people um that's kind of the that's the dream for flicks for good and so a bit like you're talking about with like having a foundation to try and work off to then you know get a, a film project going or something else i'm hoping to build you know, a bit of an audience of like-minded people who will all hopefully be interested in seeing this thing take off. And then I'm going to do a big crowdfunding campaign and, and try and, you know, yeah. go gangbusters on that. Um, but yeah, yeah, awesome. yeah, it would be nice. Like if the search engine was to, to feature me, but I think I'm doing the wrong things. So I'm trying, <laughs> I'm trying to rely yeah. on just word of mouth and, you know, um, just, yeah, other people. just just patience, hey. I don't know. Like, yeah, just being patient with it. Yeah. Yeah, it's hard to know like what works, hey. And like doing it always takes a long time for you to see results as well. Yeah. Doing that kind of social media ad. Yeah, it, it big yeah, I think the trick is obviously getting someone who really loves it and then yeah. just focus on that. Do the ads, own everything, make content. I mean, mm. this is yeah, I've had an idea for a few podcasts as well, so I think yeah, slowly working towards it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Well, I think we're just about out of time. Actually, on that note, I was having a little look awesome. there. Can um, you go to the toilet really badly. <laughs> Can you well, go to the toilet? Huh? Can you need to go to the toilet? Me? Yeah. Oh, uh, who knows? You know, like, oh. I, that's a, I broke my back years ago, so I actually can't. I don't have that proper sensation. Oh, that's right. A, okay. Story for another day, but um, hey, this it's been has great. worked really well. Like the the this program, Streamyard, that has nothing stopped on your end. Like, there's no like a lag or anything. Oh, uh, not so far. No. Yeah, it's worked out. Yeah, well. it's mostly good. It just uh, yeah. I'll see how it plays out. I think there was a bit of a lag in, but like the syncing of the audio wasn't great on one of them. Yeah. Um, but otherwise, it's pretty pretty solid. And, so, and what's the thing behind you there on your right? Oh yeah, uh, that's like a little. It's like a marble roller coaster. Oh right, cool. Yeah, I wanted a miniature roller coaster, and I found yeah. this at the game shop here in Caloundra at Amazing. And uh, yeah, they didn't even know that they had it there. It was like up behind some boxes, and I was like, oh, what's that? And I was like, oh, that looks like kind of cool marble yeah. roller coaster. With like weird cool. age instructions, it was almost impossible to build. But and you got yeah. to kind of grit to get it to stay working. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. Bit of fun. Looks very futuristic, very like Blade Runner. It oh, looks like yeah. a little miniature set or something. Mini set. <laughs> yeah. Nice fun. Hey, good to chat to you, man. I'll look yeah, you too. To you yeah. Again. yeah, likewise. Yeah, thanks for the chat. Do I do I leave now or just stay on? Nah, uh, you just um. 
I'd remove you. That's what I always laugh okay, at. Cool. Like, remove. I'm going to remove you. Yeah. <laughs> See you, mate. Cheers. Ah, uh, yes. So good. All right. Well, we made it. And StreamYard might live on. Who knows? I was so close. Ecamm Live, if there's any Ecamm Live people out there, if you can make that. Nobody wants to use Skype, I don't think. Skype, Skype's on the out. So anyway, um, we'll see. Or if anybody has any cracking great ideas or suggestions, feel free to drop those in the comments or drop me a line. I'd certainly love to hear about it. And uh, stay tuned, do all the right things, you know, quick like if you liked it, of course. If you made it this far, I'm assuming you did. Um, let's just let it on in the background. Um, so, yeah, click like, subscribe, share it with your mates. And uh, as usual, if anybody knows Quentin Tarantino, I can get me in contact with Quentin Tarantino. I'd love to chat with him. And if anybody knows how to get or see, even see, I don't know where they are, an original Gonzo. So that's just two crazy wishes that I figure I'll just keep putting out to the world and we'll see what happens. All right, I'll catch you guys next week. And feel free to tune into the other stuff. And actually, Instagram, Brad for good, Brad the number four, good. Uh, if you go there, then you're going to find... Uh, if you go to Instagram, you go to Brad for good. I have a bunch of other uh, interviews I filmed earlier in the piece. I was using History and Live until just recently. So you can see IGTV and there's all the different series there, Mondays at Moffs, Friday, Filmmaking Fridays, Changemakers, The New Canvas, and Tangent Tuesday, which is just a bit of anything goes fun. So yeah, feel free to check that out. Let me know what you like, what you don't like, because I don't know whether I'll keep them all running. It's a lot of work at the moment, but also um, a lot of fun. And likewise, actually, if you know any great people you think would be good guests, then feel free uh, to reach out because I'm always keen to know interesting people to talk to. All right, catch you next time. Yeah.